Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, I want to go and show a case and highlight something very cool that Xbox is working on and Microsoft itself, they can go and basically make video games a whole lot nicer and a whole lot easier to go and run. Now, I'm kind of a little bit on the Dumbo side when it comes to the big technicals, but I'm going to try my best to drop this video to go and showcase, highlight, and kind of talk about something really cool that Microsoft is working on. Now, sometimes, obviously, the gaming drama gets more clicks or, oh my God, can you believe this guy did this or whatever, but I'm going to try to put this on a pretty nice positive twist because I think this is absolutely very, very cool. So as of today, we actually saw a pretty big video come out from Digital Foundry that was showcasing up the Microsoft Auto SR, which is basically using like AI upscaling and basically making games just look and feel a whole lot nicer. And I'm going to try my best to explain it because there's some pretty smart people up on other various platforms. I'm going to kind of chime on into for what they have to go and say and show you guys how cool it can be. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. I appreciate you guys all for watching. We we'll also have all the Target links down below for the summer holiday sales. And of course, I just appreciate you guys all for saying what's up. You guys can swing by and say hi on Twitch if you guys are bored too as well. We'll probably be live throughout this video if you guys go and see it or follow if you guys want. So as I mentioned, there's been kind of a cool video that came on out over here. And this is in regards now to all this brand new, uh, basically AI. And we've been seeing some threads about this a while ago. Something where like Microsoft details this brand new operating system based on sophisticated AI upscalers auto super resolution and we have all these different various types of things we're kind of explaining this over here too as well whereas automatic super resolution and kind of is trying to integrate like windows copilot pc different types of processors and enhances set of existing games by default boosting frame rates while maintaining detailed visuals and as well it's also automatically lowering the game's rendering resolution to then also increase frame rate that employs sophisticated ai technology to provide enhanced high definition visuals this result results in a smoother more detailed gaming experience now when it comes to this stuff it's cool because this is actually coming over here from microsoft which and obviously can be integrated into pc but also into xbox xbox consoles and they're saying this is basically for verified by their launch is over here good for borderlands 3 control dark souls god of war kingdom come deliverance resident evils Sekiro, uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior, The Witcher, and a lot of other various cool things tied on in. And this has just kind of been like a big push when it comes to AI. Now, as you guys probably know, AI is very, very nifty. Uh, sometimes we've been seeing that even with PlayStation utilizing things such as like machine learning and all this type of stuff coming on out. So it's cool. Like we like seeing this. We like seeing the vibe of this. We like seeing the fact that technology is getting better. And this is where it gets really intriguing because over here, I'm going to give a little shout out to Digital Foundry, where they had a chance to kind of go and showcase off some of the better, more improved image quality of them utilizing this technology. Now, it's kind of hard for us to go and fully show this on like a for a basis basis. So I'm going to just be right in the middle and kind of try to screenshot some of this. But when it comes to this, look at how even through a YouTube video, which has a little bit of compression through two videos like this video and my own video being uploaded on how much cleaner everything looks. And one thing we've really liked about all this type of AI and filling of AI, et cetera, et cetera, is cool. Like, I love this. So look at this. Look at how clean the sign looks. Look at how clean the resolution looks. Look at just in the difference between staring at, like, say, these caution signs on the doorways with the always use protection. If I look on the left side of the monitor, I could barely even read what this says. This says, like, NVXYS use protection you know i couldn't even barely read the always now it's still a bit hard to read on this side i can't go and say i can't but like you could kind of just tell on how clean how crystal clear all this upscaling is and especially in environments maybe even older games etc on how much of a massive big improvement this is for these games now as i'm trying to go and show some because some are a little bit easier to see some aren't but just been a quick glance you could probably go and tell that some of these details are just a lot easier to see on this updated ai auto sr it's very 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 cool now once again like i said it some of these might be a bit weirder but maybe a good example to focus on which i know is weird with my webcam here is you see this house and look at this house the house itself looks way cleaner you can see the individual details the wood and everything else all involved quite a bit more or more so maybe look at also like the spider webs throughout this as you guys can see this and also comparing to this now this is awesome because it makes older games able to just be basically ran on older pcs better looks 
way nicer, way clearer. And of course, it kind of focus on what you really need. Like once again, maybe this house is another good example. You look at this house right above there, you can see a lot more details, a lot more line work, a lot more actual individual planks in the house itself, and everything just looks so much more crystal clear. Same with in the background versus, say, anything on over here. And this is why it's really, really cool. Oh, it also kind of compares to in different types of games, such as, like, say, Control. While it might be a little bit kind of hard to go fully see, it does look a lot, lot better. Maybe for this good example over here, uh, maybe look more and say the background. You can kind of see the actual, like, if you just look at my mouse cursor, all these individual lines look a lot more clearer, looks a lot more just nicer. Uh, as everything looks a bit less fuzzy, look at the numbers on these if you want to have a good comparison. Like, look at how much these lines stand out and look at how much everything just looks way, way cleaner, even off in the distance. Which, once again, just makes the game feel more immersive and everything is very, very nice involved. Very, very good. And even like the character models, the hair and everything else. And it's very, very nice to go and see. Now, like I said, there has been even better pictures for this one. But it's just kind of showing that like they can utilize AI technology to make either older games or even current games upscaled better with less like basically usage on your PC, maybe your Xbox, and would probably make the next iteration of Xbox is better, but as well keep the Xbox Series X and S maybe even running at a better like long term rate. As you guys know, technology does get, get dated over time, which does suck. Like, we don't like that. Like, no one wants to do with dated technology. So, stinks. You know, stinks. But, at the end of the day, if you make it look a lot nicer, faces look better, games run, look nicer, and at the same time, it could also be good for long-term technology. Even look at this. I think this might even be Cyberpunk, maybe. I'm not really sure exactly. But, like, just look at everything. Like, the world feels more alive. Actually, I wonder what game this even is. I think this is Cyberpunk. It looks like Cyberpunk. Uh, but it's like nice. Like yeah, everything is like loading in quicker, looking nicer, feeling smoother. And it's really, really cool. Now, there was a really cool tweet over here. And I'm going to show you guys this and kind of maybe try to chime in my words on it. Saying, for those wondering what makes this so great, uh, besides just looking at the pictures and seeing it with your own eyes, uh, this is so great compared to how consoles do some of this today because it creates such a power suck. The machine learning or ML capabilities in the Xbox Series X are primarily powered by its custom AMD hardware, which includes a combination of a CPU and GPU designed to support ML tasks. The Xbox Series X uses its GPU, part of the AMD RDNA 2 architecture, for tasks like AI upscaling, enhancing graphics fidelity through techniques like super resolution and improving overall gaming experiences. So here's how the ML uh, capabilities of the Xbox Series X compare and differ from an NPU. So this is basically a GPU-centric ML task. The Xbox Series X leverages its powerful GPU for ML tasks, such as upscaling images to 4K or improving uh, frame rates. This is done using Direct ML and part of Direct X, which allows the GPU to perform machine learning operations. Uh, versatility. The GPU in the Xbox Series X is versatile and can handle both graphics rendering and ML tasks. While it's not as specialized as an NPU, it is capable of a broader range of tasks, which include real-time ray tracing, advanced shading techniques and some ML based enhancements. The power consumption as well, the GPU is more power hungry compared to an NPU when performing ML tasks, which makes sense. Like it's just running more extra stuff. Makes sense. While it's optimized for high performance gaming, it's not as power efficient as an NPU, which is designed specifically for lower power AI computations. This is why I'm kind of saying too, any type of future Xbox may get huge bumps on this if they also have this in like the back of their mind. Basically just assuming and thinking like, so how the PlayStation has a brand new SSD for the PS5 Pro, allegedly, to fully focus on the operating system, letting things like the CPU, APU, GPU inside the internals only focus on the game, and then something else is running it. This is also a good example to be like if they can fine-tune utilizing these AI functions and upscaling and superscaling to go make the entire thing a little bit more optimized that lets these AI features run the background and make it very sick and very, very cool. So it's nice to see. Uh, as well, they also have like different specializations with the MPUs are specialized processors dedicated to handling AI and ML tasks, and they excel at performing specific operations too as well. And they're also designed to perform ML tasks with minimal energy use, making them ideal for mobile and handheld devices where power consumption is a critical concern. And MPUs are often used to offload AI tasks from the CPU and GPU, which can lead to significant power savings and performance improvements, especially in devices where battery life is important and there's kind of just big differences for this so it's really nifty to go and see
basically the fact that they can go and even utilize this for gaming and utilizing maybe future technology for AI, AI upscaling. And of course, as Microsoft fine tunes all this AI, they can probably make all their consoles way more efficient, future consoles, or even integrations with like say Windows into their own individualized games and make AI a lot more better for just like using things like making the backgrounds nicer, characters better, rendering line works, and of course, basically just fine tuning and optimizing a game, even if it's not fully optimized. So let me know if you guys kind of understood that. If you guys have any questions, I have no idea what's going on, but I think I have a rough idea for it. And hopefully I presented it pretty well. Check out the target links down below. We have the Twitter and Twitter as well. If you guys want to go and follow and I appreciate you all very much for watching here in the first place.